off the scramble draw. RMU gets some help there from Grant Ebert to win the puck. Tonj, cross ring pass, Ebert, far side shooting, off of Ladd, rebound, Tonj scores! He turned and put it into the open net, and RMU has a 2-0 lead on the rebound chance. Silence is the enemy. Well, here tonight, it's the Colonials' friend as Tonj turns and puts his 10th goal of the season right between the goal posts, and RMU has a long-awaited power play conversion and a big two-goal lead here on the road this evening. Timeout, I think they had an opportunity to reset when they went to the bench with their coach, and they have had a couple good opportunities here, almost putting two in that just went over the net there. But there's the goal from Canisius. Big time goal from J.D. Poe. Actually, Cameron Heath, 2-1 RMU. Wow, and that's such a bad angle shot, but I, I, you know, most of the good coaches, I mean, when it comes down to it, they just want you to get shots on that. And that's exactly what you need, a lucky bounce and a lucky shot that comes from the corner that goes in right between the five hole of the goaltender. Around the board, Samazzo. As a back, now to Chamberlain. Cross ice deflected by Matinuto, but kept in, and there's an open goal for Felix Chamberlain. Tied it to at Kibik. That's a huge goal for Canisius with less than a minute left. That's absolutely deflating for Robert Morris after their quick start. That was the opportunity for great zone coverage play. Canisius keeping the puck, like I said, taking advantage of you have that man up and that extra space. Schaefer high off the boards. Slow down, checked down by Ivancic. 15-20 left in the period, and they score. I believe that's going to be Lalonde on the goal for Robert Morris, and that's just that goal came as, as Ian Edmondson tried to clear that puck to the center of the ice, which you never really want to do to defense him, especially in a one-on-one -on -one battle. That's going to be Lalonde's second goal of the game from a good forecheck, and to see the puck is uh, fielded by Edmondson. He just tried to clear it in front, and it went right off the stick of Lalonde and in the net. It's a thing they haven't done too often. It's Taunch, puts it in front, and a score on the restart. Mantenuto lifts it into the goal, right past a befuddled lad, and it's 4-2. Robert Morris, what a pass from Alex Taunch, who's got a couple of points in this game, a goal and an assist. 11-6 game at Army Island Sports Center. Here's Perkusic, left circle. Perkusic has the lawn in front, backhand, what a save, rebound, score! Aiden Spellacy on the doorstep. A fifth goal for the Colonials. Robert Morris running up the score at the moment. Five goals on the board with 10.51 to go in the second period. Spellacy polishes off the Percusic rebound. There's that line again. Spellacy between Percusic and Lalonde. They cash in here at even strength with Ladd spinning in his crease. Mantenuto and now Spellacy getting his third goal this season. A turnover, here's a lead pass for Loria with a partial breakaway on a backhand, score! 6-2 RMU! Mike Loria, the senior, cashes in with a slick backhand move and a roof jump from inside the blue paint. He's got a two-goal game and a shorthanded goal to boot, his second shorty of the year. And overall, Mantenuto's fourth of the season a big outburst for number nine. And RMU is rocking Key Bank Arena tonight. It's a 7-2 to lead. One second to go. Time runs out. Colonials win. Colonials win it 7-2 to behind a 38-shot effort. Francis Marat congratulates his teammates down to my right. And RMU matches a season high for gold.